Good morning, Gemini. Some of you could either have a gazebo, something could be happening in a gazebo, something about a gazebo, okay? But I feel like you have like pieces, it's something you don't have peace of mind about right now. It's like pieces, pieces of mind, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? High honor, occupation, and the reverse. I'm not even going to touch that. Let's see what's going on, Gemini, with you. High honor. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Or a fire sign. Aquarius, Virgo, Aquarius, possible Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Did they ghost you? Somebody that you lost hope in, perhaps? Somebody who has a position of high honor? This person may come back around to apologize or to communicate something with you. Could be a decision. Somebody could be coming towards you for money. Oh, this could be something you two could have exchanged money at some point. Or perhaps there's something that this person wants to give to you. Or they're wanting attention. They've lost patience. But there's a struggle with this. It's something about money. Leo energy is here again. This could have been somebody spirited away. This could be somebody who drinks. Excuse me, Gemini. Mm hmm. Six of Wands. This person is wanting success with you this time, but I'm wondering if you're still holding some resentment towards them if you've given up because you found something out that made you stop fighting for this or putting any effort into this. This could have been a commitment between you and someone. Someone could have had control issues or didn't take accountability for a third party. And now they want to talk to you again. But you're focused on something else. There was definitely a disconnect, a, 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 a dropping of, of this. This was, you found something out about this person. And it ended it. But there's something of a cord that's still left between the two of you, even though this isn't working. And I don't know if there's any sex involved. There's a lot of heartbreak here. But I, maybe it didn't end with clarity. Some of you are dealing with a Leo who made a decision to maybe avoid this, stop investing into this. It's, it's like a, a big-ass no here with whatever this hermit in reverse is if, if this person is trying to come back around to you if you're trying to come back around to them there's resistance that could explain the lack of uh, peace of mind that I was picking up on why is the star in the reverse this is something that's not healed, you know? It's like we're trying not to worry about it anymore, but maybe <sighs> there's an Aries in this reading. Somebody, I don't wanna, uh, let's see. 
Somebody's feeling very unbalanced. Something ain't over, possibly between you and them. Ooh. In Aries reading, it said something about their person not being out of another relationship. Meanwhile, you're over here committing to this person. Somebody's taking something on here. And I feel like there was a fight about cheat about another woman. Somebody's husband or... Oh my God, I don't like giving messages like this. Somebody was fighting over the other woman. This other woman could be a fire sign. Queen of Wands, somebody very attractive. Whatever. Um, fire sign, entrepreneur, whatever. With the Emperor card here, this could be somebody who owns a business. But um, there's somebody who... Is it that they couldn't decide? Yeah, they couldn't decide who they wanted to move forward with, travel with, or something like that. So they gave up on something to, to pursue something else. All right. Let me see something. What's the energy between the king and the queen of wands? They, these are two people who are holding on to each other emotionally, who have started something, okay? But... Why do I feel like... It left someone else waiting. Or did it leave you waiting, my love? Because somebody didn't, either they didn't say that they were unhappy. It's almost like somebody left without notice. This is what it's giving. They just became very blocked off and went on. But maybe... Yeah, I feel like this came as a shock to you, them just walking away. This was burdensome for you. But there's a lot of no here. Uh, again, a lot of no here when it comes to this person. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on, Gemini. Uh, let me catch a vibe real quick. Let's see. Gemini. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to get copywritten. I hope that you're the one. If not, you are the prototype. This could have been somebody that you helped was the one for you. And if not, I want somebody like that. You know. Let's get another song for you, Gemini. I just feel like it wasn't it. This could have been somebody who has a very deep voice or like you two had a very sexual relationship together. You've been trying to keep yourself positive, you know, just stay in a positive vibration. Maybe why there's so much resistance when it comes to this person. Um, this is somebody who lived that lifestyle. You know what lifestyle I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. Somebody could be turning around a lifestyle. Let's see. All right, this is what it is. Something told me to look that up. Um... The lyrics are, why you played on me? Wasn't I good enough for you? All those other girls you've been with can't do like I do. You gave, gave you my all though, when you needed it all the time. And if you're planning on leaving me again, then give me a sign.
Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, occupation in the reverse. Why is that here? For Gemini. Somebody doesn't want something to end. But somebody has found something somewhere else. Somebody ran away from something that they were getting over or that they're over at this point. And they're, there's competition for this person's attention or something like that. It's a repetitive pattern with this person. Could be a repetitive pattern of them, you know, creeping or whatever. Or it's just dipping out, you know, something inconsistent about this person. But you quickly got over this one. Either some, somebody got over it when they found out somebody was given to someone else. And this person seems to be pursuing another relationship. Or you. You know in your gut that it's time to let go of any control issues that it that you may have as it pertains to this person. This person has made you feel guarded. Or like was I not good enough for you? Something like that. The truth is, maybe I'm wasting my time. This isn't something I need to wait on or try to go back. And if I try, if I do try to go back, it, it's only going to bring me grief. This is somebody who's done me wrong. I don't see any other options. This heartbreak connected to this King of Wands. And what you need to do. <laughs> I feel like you're this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You need to put all that focus back into you. If, that's, if this is what I'm saying. Get out of whatever this slump is. And I think I said, I don't know who I said this to, but it may have been a personal reading. Um, focus. Where focus goes, energy flows. So if I put my focus into this plant back here, my little peperomia. Isn't she pretty? You see how her leaves, they bounce. It's a bounce back. Because I've been putting focus into her. I want her to grow. Sometimes I turn her around because you see this one's growing towards the, the window. It's going towards the sun. Sometimes I have to turn her around and let the back get a little love. But I'm putting focus into this and it's growing. I put focus into my tarot channel and it's growing. So where focus goes, energy flows. So if I put focus into, oh my God, I'm so fat. Or, oh my God, I don't like these scars on my face. or You know, then I, there's going to be more reason to focus on that shit. There's going to be more energy that I'm putting into that, which is going to make me feel worse about myself. So this is you putting the focus back on your star player, the MVP, because who, who's the football team going to invest in? Their most valuable player. What is it? The quarterback? Uh, basketball. Who's the important one there? Point guard? Whatever. I'm not a sports person. But you're going to put your focus on your priority. Your priority is you, not whoever made you feel like this. Is that, am I in the ballpark? Now, I'm going to just tell you, and this is, this is a journey opinion, okay? If I have to, if I, if I'm going through this repetitive pattern of, oh my God, who is he talking to? If anything is taking me off of my star player. If I'm with you, first of all, it's a privilege because I don't have a whole lot of time. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to has a good job or has a career that is going well for them. Y'all got money. Whoever I'm talking to is not doing bad, okay? Um, and if you are, there's you have the potential to go verify. I feel like who I'm talking to is a lot of potential here. If at any point... You start taking me off of my focus, 
my numbers start going down, my money starts looking funny, and the common denominator is you, boy, please. <laughs> Nobody's that important. Nobody's that important. My skin start breaking out, and I have been breaking out a little bit because I've been traveling. I haven't been in the same place. My skin regimen is not on tap. But if it has something to do with another person, and that's not a judgment, because, honey, <laughs> let me tell you who used to give too much of a damn. Me. Okay? So I'm telling you from experience. And at this point in my life, you start making me gain weight or anything that I don't like. I don't want to feel bad. Period. Now, people dying, things happening that are out of, out of our control, okay. And it's not to say that I have to be in control all the time. It's, but I am in control of my own vibration. And yes, if I find out that someone passes away, yes, I'm going to allow myself to feel what I'm feeling. If I go through a breakup, I'm going to allow myself to feel what I'm feeling. But at the point where it is throwing my life off, like I should be enjoying this brunch that I'm at with my girlfriends or this company lunch that I'm at with my coworkers and I should be focused on networking and building what it is, my purpose, my passion. But I'm over here thinking about what the fuck you're doing it's a no uh, you remember that meme with angelina not angelina annalise keating um viola davis when when she <laughs> i think the meme was like um she was in a meeting that could have been an email and then when she found out this could have been an email she was like that's that's where i'm at with that bullshit so Gemini, I, I don't know if this message was for you, honey. Let's see what this person will want to say to you before I get out of here. I will make things right between us one day. Well, you know. But do they line up with where you want to be? I think this know, know who you love. It could be two ways we can look at this. First of all, the person you need to be loving is you. Second of all, this know who you love is really look at this person that you love. I'm not saying that love isn't real or anything like that, but really, do you know who you love? Something like that. I wish they were you. You don't want to be on either side of that coin. I wish they were you. You don't want to be either one of those people. Forgive and let go. Put the same is it, this person isn't gonna put the same energy into fixing it you know what i mean i can't take this anymore i can't seem to find the right words to say this person feels like it's over i need more time to figure things out i'm ready to let go this person i don't know if you look at them in a bad way but i don't even know if they're concerned about that because if they were concerned about how they, how you looked at them, then they would have been concerned about how they treated you. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to leave it on a sour note, Gemini, but I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.